Nidhi Mishra also has a question. She asks, could ULIPS be an alternate for mutual funds after LTCG taxes? If yes, what could be the implication of buying a ULIP? I mean, does it carry hidden charges? Two very interesting questions and uh, let's talk about the larger issue there as well. So the first point that Tanya is making is, uh, I'm willing to stay invested for a long while. I think this was one of the mistakes that people made or probably they were made to make through mis-selling of ULIPS, which got it a bad name, was that they were sold as very short-term products. They were sold as products where you said initially there was a three-year lock-in and then it went to five. Uh, you were told really that you know you stay invested for three years or five years and then you can exit. Uh, that was a minimum time period, not a maximum. Not a maximum. Uh, it was just that you had to be there for three or five years. Now the rule is five years. but. Uh, and I think that's where the mistakes happened, isn't it? That people were missold, told you can move out. And when you moved out within five years, you found that the money that you thought you would have got, you didn't get because the first year charges were a lot. Uh, so what would you tell people who would want to buy a ULIP? How many years should you stay invested before you go and buy a ULIP? See, if you, if you want to invest for a long term, ULIP can be a beautiful instrument, but what you need to keep in mind is you cannot withdraw the money for the first five years. Mm. So if you can stay invested at least for a minimum of five years, then definitely go in for a ULIP. Uh, in terms of long term instrument, ULIP can be the most efficient instrument in that manner. Uh, one now that there are no long term capital gains, it makes the deal even sweeter. But even before that, even before the long term capital gain came into picture, if you are investing for a long term, it only made sense to invest in a ULIP. Long term means what? 10 years, 15 long -term years, means 20 five years. years? Long term mm. is, means 5 years. So the only, only thing that you need to keep in mind is if you do not, if you can not withdraw your money in the first mm. 5 years, if you can stay invested for 5 years and longer, then go for a ULIP. But if you feel that five years is too long a horizon for you, if within five years you may want to in withdraw your money, then uh, ULIP may not be the good option. Then you should definitely opt for alternate options like mutual funds.